Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk about maybe transcending some of the traditional ideas we've had around relapse prevention. During this pandemic and so much of the socio-political unrest that we've experienced, we know that rates of relapse have gone up exponentially. We know that rates of overdose deaths have gone up exponentially. And we also have experienced, at least I have locally and my people have, losing folks in local recovery, not to relapse, but to suicide and to a host of other health problems and accidents. And sometimes life happens and it's just something that we're powerless over. But sometimes there's continued investments that we're afraid to make. And that's what I want to talk about today. Never have I met a person in addiction recovery who didn't have an underlying uh, experience of trauma, very often multiple layers of trauma, most often starting in childhood. Never have I met a person uh, with a substance use disorder who did not also have an underlying mental health condition. If you didn't have those things prior to the onset of your substance use, the places that active use will take you, make sure that those are instilled within you. And so I'm as old school as it gets when it comes to recovery. I want you to put sobriety or medicated assisted treatment or whatever works for you first. Having that foundation and having a strong support system is foundational, it's absolutely vital. What comes after that is different for each person. But when we think about relapse prevention, the easiest way to ensure that we don't go back or that we don't regress is to make a commitment to ongoing growth, ongoing healing, and to keep setting goals for ourselves to move forward. And for a very high percentage of that, us, that means that sooner or later, we're looking at maybe getting some outside help, doing some counseling, doing some trauma work. And I don't pull any punches with folks. It's hard work. It hurts. It's scary. It's hard. It's also incredibly liberating. It's also something that provides a sense of freedom and a way to lighten up that nothing else does. And I say lighten up, not gratuitously, but more to take off that weight of the world that you're carrying on your shoulders and to relieve the pressure that so many of us put on ourselves to maintain at a high level, to do everything right, and to maintain our sobriety. So my hope for each of us as we continue through these challenging times is that we are reaching out and that we're relying on natural supports and that we're looking to people in 12-step fellowships and that we're looking to friends and family and ensuring that we're surrounding ourselves by people who really understand addiction, folks who are willing to challenge us and call us out if maybe we're heading in the wrong direction. And then my hope is that we make continued plans for the next step, uh, whether that's a literal step of the 12 steps or whether that's a further investment in our health, a further investment in our education, our careers, especially with our families and parenting. And then I hope that you keep some amount of focus on your mental health and your overall well-being. Just as we know that sobriety has to come first, uh, because without that we'll lose everything, so too our holistic health has to be a priority, because in the absence of that, Many of us succumb to physical ailments, we succumb to pressure uh, in the workplace or from family. It's a dangerous road, and sadly, some of us uh, get lost in the midst of mental illness and past trauma, and some of us even choose to end our lives. And I'm, I'm tired of losing people that I love. Uh, I get to be powerless over that. But I want to reach out to you and say that if, if you're not sure where to start or if you don't have people in your life to direct, me, direct you in your recovery, then I want you to reach out to me. Jim at SoberNow.com is the easiest way to reach me. I would love for you to check out some of the resources we have available. Give this video a quick like and share and then head over to YouTube because SoberNow's channel has well over 100 videos now on different aspects of addiction recovery that also speak to mental illness and also speak to trauma recovery. So my hope is that you're making some ongoing commitments to your recovery, not just from substance use disorder, but from mental illness and trauma and other things that people like me experience. 
my hope is that you have a lot of account accountability in your life so that folks can not only support you, but hold your feet to the fire and make sure that you're getting done what you need to do. Please, again, reach out and connect with me if you have any questions, if you need to be pointed towards some resources. And check out our site, SoberNow.com, recently moved to a subscription uh, service, and so it's cheaper than ever. It's incredibly inexpensive to get a home study program that you can do from home with complete anonymity and confidentiality. So check out those resources, drop me an email, share the video with friends and family so we can expand this conversation, and please take excellent care of yourself. Take care.